What's up, guys? Coach Carroll here again. Hey, guys. Uh, here's uh, another problem over moments in 2D. Okay. Moment in 2D. So if you fell asleep in class, um, yeah, this video might be helpful for you. Okay, guys, remember, if you have not attempted this problem yourself, uh, turn this video off right now. Turn it off now, um, try it yourself, struggle with the problem, go you know, ask your friends, um, then, then come here as your last resort, okay? All right, so this problem says find the angle theta. That's the angle that this force vector, this 50 pound force vector makes with this line here that's directed along that beam. That's the angle theta. Okay, so find that angle theta which will maximize okay, maximize the moment produced by the 50 pound force about the shaft axis at O. Okay, and then it asks us to find what is this maximum moment. So here's the point O Okay, so picture a shaft, which the axis of it is coming out of the screen here. Okay, coming out of the screen at point O. So this 50 pound force is putting a moment about point O in the clockwise, clockwise direction about O. Okay, so what angle theta do we need to maximize that moment? Okay. What is the vector equation for a moment? R cross F. Okay, hopefully you have this memorized. Moment of a, the, the moment is R cross F. Okay, so what is the magnitude of R cross F? Well, it's going to be R times F times the sine of, let's say, alpha, which would be the angle in between the R and the F vector. This is the magnitude of the moment here. Okay, notice I do not have an arrow over this moment because it's just magnitude. Okay, so R can go from the point you're taking the moment about to anywhere along the line of action of the force. Okay. Well, a convenient place for us is actually this point where the force is applied. Okay. I'm going to call that point A. Okay. So this would be the position vector O to A. All right. So now the that so that that length from O to A that length is fixed because this bar here is a rigid bar. It does not change shape. So the length O to A, so the magnitude ROA, does not change. That's constant. Okay. What about the force F, that 50 pound force? Well, that's constant as well. Okay. So what changes the moment? only angle alpha okay so what is that angle alpha that's the angle between the r and the f vector here so again if this is the vector r okay that was r o a say if i continue this vector up here so this is the line of action of position vector r o a well the angle alpha is the angle in between this force vector and that angle here. So that right there would be the angle alpha. Okay. So again, if the magnitude of a force, or sorry, the magnitude of a moment is R times F times the sine of alpha, R stays constant and F stays constant in this problem. How do I maximize this? Well, I want the sine of theta to be maximum. So when is the sine of theta maximum? So when is Sorry, I'm saying theta. When is the sine of alpha equal to 1? It's when alpha is 90 degrees. Okay? It's when alpha is 90 degrees. So this says 
that the moment that the moment is maximized when what? When the moment arm R R we call that the moment arm when the moment arm is perpendicular to the force vector F right there okay that's what we want so when this alpha equals 90 degrees which means that get a little perpendicular sign 90 degrees that's what we want okay uh, so we're pretty much done with the theory of the problem this is the theory of the problem I want R to be perpendicular to F okay that's when the moment is maximized from here it's just your trigonometry okay so Go give this problem to your brother or sister who's in, what, 10th grade? You have geometry? 10th grade? Okay. And they'll finish the problem for you. Okay. Uh, good to see you. And next, okay. Okay, we'll finish the problem, but I want to make the point that we're done with the theory part. Okay. So let's find this angle theta right here to make when alpha is 90 degrees. Okay. Let's look at a new. So what do we know? So from here it's just trigonometry, guys. I'm going to continue this line up here. Okay. So this vector there is R O A. I'll continue this up with a dotted line. So what do I know? I know this angle, big angle there is 90 degrees. So if I can find, let's say, this angle here, I'm going to call that angle beta. If I can find that angle beta, how would I find angle theta here? Well, theta would just be 90 minus beta. Okay, so I need to find beta. Okay, well, how can I find this angle beta? This is our next question. Uh, what else do I know? I don't know this angle theta. That's obviously what I'm looking for. But I can divide it up. I'm also given this angle 30 degrees. What, what angle is that? That's the angle that this line right here makes with the horizontal. Okay? So I'm going to sketch a horizontal. That angle right there. Let's draw that out there that angle is 30 degrees again that's the angle that this line makes with the horizontal this is horizontal here okay this is 30 degrees so I know this is 30 degrees what other angle can I find I still don't know beta here well let's let's draw more triangles triangles are your best friends in solving these problems here what if I take a triangle like this? Okay. Well, since I know this is 7, I know this length here 10, I know this angle, I can find this length and this length, which means I can find this angle here. I'm going to call that uh, running out of angles here. Let's call that angle alpha. Okay. Now, what angle does that correspond to. Well, that's the angle that this ROA makes with the horizontal. So for us, there's a horizontal. Here's angle ROA. That's kind of getting a little confusing there. So that angle right there is the same as alpha. Okay? So now, so if I can find alpha, and we've already said I can because I know this length and I know this length and an angle 30 degrees. If I know alpha and I know this angle is 30, how can I find beta? Well, that means beta is what? Going to be alpha minus 30 degrees. Okay, that's this beta here. Okay, so now it's reduced down to can we find alpha? Okay, 
So I'm going to find alpha using this right triangle here. Okay, so let's do that. Sketch this triangle that I'm looking at. There we go. It's a right triangle here. Uh, what is this length of the triangle right here? What's that length of the triangle? Well, that length is the same as you know the little triangle right here, right? So this length of this right triangle is the same as this length. So in this one, how can I find that length? Well, it's going to be the hypotenuse 10 times the cosine of 30. So that length right here is 10 times the cosine of 30. Okay. What is, let's say, now I need to find this full length here. Let's grab another color. I need to find this length here. Well, from here to here is how much? That is 7 inches, right there. And then what would this length be right here? This length of the triangle I can find by taking the hypotenuse 10 times the sine of 30 to find this length here. Okay, so that's going to be 10 times the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, now this angle alpha then I can do by inverse tangent. Okay, so alpha, I'm going to take the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. Here's the opposite side of theta, which is 7 plus 10 times the sine of 30. Divided by opposite over adjacent, and adjacent is 10 times the cosine of 30. There you go. Come out with alpha. Okay. So now that, so alpha equals something here. Go put that in your calculator. I know alpha. I have a number for that. So come back here. Now that I know alpha, what can I get? I can get beta. Now that I know beta, put that in here. I know beta. And what have I found? I found theta. Problem's done, guys. Okay. So do the calculator part there. Theta comes out to be 65.8 degrees. Okay. Um, almost done with the problem. Don't forget to read the problem statement fully. Okay. So the problem also says to compute what is this maximum moment. Okay. So the maximum moment, though, what did we say it was? We said, well, the moment is maximized when r is perpendicular to f, so that would be r times f times the sine of the angle in between those, but this is maximized when the sine of alpha equals to what? Equals to 1, okay? So this maximum moment, I just need to find what is r and what is f, because the sine of alpha is 1. So f that's 50 pounds. Okay, now what is, what is this length R here? That's all I need to find now. Okay, so remember if we go back to this little triangle that I did, if I want to find this length R, what was this length? 10 times the cosine of 30. And what's this length? 7 plus 10 times the sine of 30. What is the hypotenuse here, which is the magnitude of position vector ROA? I can find that using Pythagorean theorem. So the 10 cosine of 30 squared plus all of this guy, 7 plus 10 times the sine of 30 squared. Use Pythagorean theorem there and I've got this length ROA, which is that length there. Okay, so I got a number for ROA now. Now let's step back. I can plug this number, plug that number that I got using Pythagorean theorem in right there, and I'll calculate the maximum moment. Okay, and this number comes out to be 
739.9 if I put that in my calculator. Now what are the units? Pound is the force. What's the distance in? So in that, that is stands for inches. So pound inches. And which direction is it? Well, this 50 pound force is running to rotate clockwise about O. So clockwise is negative k hat there. I'll put the k hat right here before the units. There you go. That is the maximum moment. Okay. 739.9 inch pounds or pounds inches. Okay. All right. Hope that made a little more sense to you. Remember your geometry, guys. If not, go talk to your 10th grade sister. Okay. Have a great day, guys.